Hi everyone, Megan here from Beguiled by Books, and today I am going to talk about five blind dates with books that I've recently purchased, and then if you stay to the end, I'm going to open a brand new blind date with a book that I just got and I haven't yet taken the wrappings off. So stick around to the end and we can open that together. Let's get started. Blind dates with books are things you probably seen in bookstores. I've seen lots of book subscriptions do this as well, where you get a surprise book every month based on your preferences or a question questionnaire that you've completed in your reading profile. So I have really gotten into these blind dates with books because I love to be surprised and I love the discovery of new books. Um, and I love seeing what people summarize them and then kind of what you get when you take off the wrappings. So I'm really excited to show you what I've seen lately. So the very first blind date with a book that I've gotten recently is Mecca by Susan Strait. I got this as part of a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo to fund uh, my new favorite local bookstore, Blackbird Books and Coffee. Um, so I got this as a thank you and I'm really excited to read it. I never would have picked this out for myself if I had just seen it on a shelf. Um, so really looking forward to reading this. It's all about people who don't usually appear in literary and cinematic depictions of a place so good, so big, it could be a country. Um, and it takes place in California. So very interested to see what this one's all about. The next blind date with a book that I received is Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe. I have heard about this. It's been out for a little while, really looking forward to reading it. It seems very magical realism, which is one of my favorite genres. Um, I, I can't wait to dig into this book. And if I'm not mistaken, this takes place in the South. I live in the South. So some of those um, quirks and charms of the area that you're familiar with or that you live in are always fun to see on the pages of a book. So Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe will be on my TBR very soon. All right, the next blind date with a book that I got was Daughter from the Dark. This one was labeled, I think, as strange, was its genre, and I knew I had to have it when it was labeled as strange, and it's about a DJ and a 10-year-old kind of randomly coming into his life, and this DJ doesn't know what to do with her, um, so we'll see what happens with the, the lost daughter and how she adopts this DJ as her caregiver. Um, yeah, looks really interesting, fantasy, magical realism again should be fun. The next blind date with a book that I have is this lovely one. I am not certain on how to say the name here. I'd prefer to not butcher it because I have not practiced it and I'm very sorry, uh, but this one looks really interesting. Again, fantasy slash magical realism has some elements in there. Um, there is a person who dies, there is a funeral, and of course there is inheritance. And then from there, it seems to be um, some gifts have passed down through the generations. They're beginning to manifest in interesting ways. We will have to see what this is about, but really looking forward to reading this one. And there is a blurb from one of my favorite authors, V.E. Schwab, on the front. So that, to me, is always a good thing. The fifth book that I've opened, and then you get a bonus here in just a minute, is The God of Endings. I had been picking this book up at the bookstore, wondering if I should get it. I put it back, I picked it up, I put it back. I did that several times. I couldn't make a decision. Then I wandered over to the blind date with a book section and there was a book completely, just the only markings were question marks. There was no description, there was no genre. It just had question marks all over it. And I said, that's gotta be the one. And when I got home, sure enough, it was the God of Endings. I still don't know what this book is about. I'll have to read it and find out, but really looking forward to it. I think fate must have put it in my path. So definitely going to read this one really soon to see what it's all about. Now for the big finale, let's open our blast blind date with a book. I just got this. I saved it specifically for this video because I wanted to open it with y'all. The category here is urban fantasy. The description says, imagine the sound of your voice invoking an inexplicable hatred. This is the curse the main character must bear. Let's open it up.
I'm like a child at Christmas. Ink and sigil from the world of the Iron Druid Chronicles. I've never heard of this book. Kevin Hearn. Well, very cool. That premise sounds really interesting. There's some advanced praise on the back from some fantasy authors that I have heard of. Very cool. So that is my latest blind date with a book called Ink and Sigil. Looking forward to reading that one as well. What's been your favorite blind date with a book? I would love to hear it. So drop it in the comments. Let me know. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you appreciate this content and want to see more of it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Have a great day.